As a compassionate man lay on his hospital bed, nearing the end of his life, his cherished dog was brought to bid him farewell. However, what unfolded next left everyone speechless. Ryan Jessen led a seemingly ordinary life in California, finding contentment as a landscaper. His joy stemmed not only from the satisfaction of crafting beauty, but also from the freedom and creativity embedded in his work. One day, as he traversed a cemetery on his way home, a shortcut that conveniently shaved off 15 minutes from his walk, Ryan's routine took an unexpected turn. Walking amidst the graves, he caught sight of something ahead, a mysterious figure or a creature that piqued his curiosity and interrupted the usual cadence of his journey. As Ryan approached, he discovered a frightened and hungry puppy on the path, a neglected soul that hadn't experienced care for a considerable time. Resourcefully fashioning a makeshift leash from his belt, Ryan decided to walk the little dog to his home. Despite the puppy's initial smelly, flea-ridden state, Ryan recognized its deserving need for love. Determined to assist this abandoned creature, he named her Molly, a boxer with an undeniable charm. After thoroughly cleaning, removing fleas, and ensuring Molly's nourishment, Ryan embarked on a mission to reunite her with her owners. To his surprise, no one had reported a missing puppy matching Molly's description. Despite exhaustive efforts, Molly's origins remained a mystery, almost as if she had materialized out of thin air. Driven by compassion, Ryan, a kind-hearted individual, decided to make Molly a permanent part of his life, providing her the warmth and care she deserved, clearing steer of the coldness of shelters or institutional settings. For the subsequent six years, the bond between Ryan and Molly deepened into an extraordinary connection, surpassing the typical companionship shared between a man and his dog. Inseparable, they evolved into the epitome of best friends, seldom parting ways. In a heartwarming display of loyalty, Molly even became a companion during Ryan's workdays, contentedly watching him landscape all day. Their shared joy extended to their cherished strolls through the serene nearby forest. Ryan immersed himself in the calming silence in this tranquil haven, harmonizing with nature. At the same time, Molly reveled in the uninhibited glee, darting after sticks, barking at birds, and reveling in the freedom to stretch her legs. Eventually settling on a patch of grass or a welcoming log, they would unwind, indulging in a small picnic thoughtfully prepared by Ryan. For Ryan and Molly, these moments became a cherished sanctuary, a respite from the ordinary, allowing them to savor the simplicity of their shared experiences and genuinely appreciate the invaluable time they spent together. However, one fateful morning, Ryan awoke to an excruciating headache, a sensation so intense it seemed as though his very skull might shatter. Unaccustomed to migraines or any severe head-related ailments, he initially brushed it off as an isolated episode. However, as the hours unfolded, instead of subsiding, the pain escalated to an unbearable level, nearly causing him to collapse. Alarmed by the gravity of his condition, Ryan decided to take matters into his own hands seeking urgent medical attention at the hospital. Intuitively realizing that this was no ordinary headache, his concerns were justified. The medical team swiftly initiated a battery of tests and examinations, uncovering a harrowing diagnosis. Ryan was grappling with a ventricular brain hemorrhage. This ominous condition involved severe and potentially life-threatening bleeding inside or around the brain's ventricles. The repercussions are dire, as intracranial bleeding exerts tremendous pressure on the vital nerve cells, leading to irreversible damage and the looming specter of brain injury or, in the worst-case scenario, death. Ryan's life had taken an unforeseen and dangerous turn, the severity of which demanded immediate and comprehensive medical intervention. Effectively addressing this condition requires prompt and decisive treatment to rectify the situation and salvage any semblance of hope for the person's survival and the restoration of everyday life. The erratic nature of its occurrence often renders it as an arbitrary and seemingly unjust twist of fate. Despite the medical team's earnest endeavors, Ryan found himself plunged into a coma, a precarious state that, paradoxically, presents both challenges and opportunities. While the ideal scenario would involve the absence of a coma, 
This unintended reprieve provides medical professionals with a narrow window to intervene and address the underlying issues while the body rests. Faced with the critical task of mitigating the effects of the ventricular brain hemorrhage, doctors and surgeons work diligently to staunch the bleeding and reverse any potential damage Ryan might have sustained. Speculations arose regarding the cause of the sudden medical catastrophe, with a focus on the interplay between Ryan's blood pressure and his fondness for energy drinks, a potentially volatile combination. The situation remained unaltered despite exhaustive efforts, encompassing every conceivable avenue of treatment, ranging from medical interventions to surgical procedures. Ryan's condition, shrouded in uncertainty, posed an intricate puzzle that defied immediate solutions, leaving medical professionals grappling with the profound challenge of restoring him to consciousness and mitigating the consequences of this unforeseen health crisis. In the agonizing crucible of emotions, Ryan's family found themselves grappling with an anguishing decision. The contemplation of whether to make the heart-wrenching choice of disconnecting the life support systems, allowing him a peaceful departure. This decision, laden with profound implications, stood as one of the most arduous and soul-rending they had ever faced. The delicate balance between the slim possibility of Ryan's recovery, should medical breakthroughs emerge, and the stark reality of potentially irreparable brain damage weighed heavily on their hearts. As they meticulously assessed the pros and cons of each trajectory, the family confronted the excruciating dilemma of deciding what would be best for Ryan's well-being. The sad conclusion emerged that withdrawing life support represented the most compassionate action. Bracing themselves for the impending goodbyes, the family acknowledged that this poignant moment would be incomplete without a significant presence. Molly. The palpable connection between Ryan and Molly was undeniable, and it was evident that Molly had keenly felt his absence during his hospitalization. It seemed only fitting that she should be granted the opportunity to bid him a final farewell. Fortunately, the compassionate hospital staff consented to the family's heartfelt request, facilitating a poignant reunion between Ryan, his family, and the loyal companion who had woven an indelible thread into the fabric of his life. Despite the typical prohibition of dogs within hospital confines, the compassionate exception was made, recognizing the profound significance of Molly in Ryan's life and, conversely, Ryan's importance to the faithful canine. As Molly entered the hospital, she was greeted by the solemn presence of Ryan's mother, father, and sister who awaited her. With heavy hearts, the family proceeded into Ryan's room, preparing to bid their final farewells before the poignant moment when the life support systems would be relinquished. Ordinarily exuberant and effervescent interactions, Molly displayed an uncharacteristic reserve. Appearing almost shy, this departure from her usual demeanor hinted at a remarkable sensitivity to the gravity of the situation, an acute understanding of the palpable sadness enveloping the room. Cautiously, Molly approached Ryan, her usual exuberance tempered by an unusual solemnity. Sensing the moment's weight, Molly delicately sniffed around Ryan, her tail tucked between her legs in an unspoken acknowledgement of the somber atmosphere. Seeing the need for comfort, Ryan's mother gently lifted Molly and placed her on the bed beside him. In this poignant tableau, Molly settled in, assuming a position of quiet companionship, softly sniffing at her owner's face, perhaps offering a silent reassurance at the beginning of the impending farewell. Persisting in her timidity and evident concern, Molly profoundly recognized Ryan, despite the maze of tubes and wires enveloping him. Softly licking his face and emitting a gentle whine, Molly's gaze, directed at Ryan's family, seemed to implore them for assistance in aiding her cherished owner. The reality, however, was that the situation's complexity left everyone feeling powerless. In a poignant moment of understanding, Molly now resigned and visibly saddened, seeming to grasp the gravity of the circumstances. Ryan's sister, moved by compassion, tenderly lifted his hand and placed it on Molly's back, conveying a sense of mutual comfort. This poignant tableau unfolded as a heart-rendering spectacle, capturing the deep connection between Ryan and Molly, a bond that transcended the limitations of words. 
Witnessing the depths of Molly's grief became an emotional torrent, prompting tears from everyone present. In response to the unspoken plea in Molly's eyes, Ryan's family made a solemn promise to care for her henceforth. As Molly embarked on the journey of a happy and fulfilling life without Ryan, the guarantee offered reassurance. Yet, it was undeniable that, in the depths of her canine heart, Molly would forever carry a love and longing for Ryan that transcended the boundaries of expression. What do you think of this heartbreaking story? Let us know in the comments section below. See you next time. Bye for now.